So, um, really quick, the 49ers have just reached an agreement with uh, free agent defensive end Ziggy Ansa. Um, so, the 49ers have been trying to get Ziggy Ansa for the past two weeks, but Ziggy Ansa has declined two deals from the 49ers because he's wanted more money. So, the 49ers have offered him numerous amount of deals, but he continuously was declining those deals because he felt as if he wanted more money. Now... As soon as Nick Bosa went down yesterday in the Jets game, I instantly thought of, of Ziggy Ansa. Um, especially, you know, as the game was going on, I was like, you know what, how can we bring in somebody, you know, to kind of help our defense with, with Nick Bosa being out? Ziggy Ansa was like the first person that came to mind, considering the 49ers have had interest in him for numerous amount of weeks now, and they've yet to get a deal done with him. But now that Nick Bosa is out... The 49ers are now obligated to pay Ziggy Ansa the money he wants. And I'm sure that price probably went up, especially when Nick Bosa tore his ACL. But at the end of the day, I mean, the 49ers had to sign him and they end up end up doing that. The 49ers are now finalizing a deal uh, that's going to make Ziggy Ansa a 49er for just this year. It's a one-year contract. Um, it's not official yet, but they're finalizing it. So Ziggy Ansa is soon to become a 49er, and he'll soon become the newest 49er defensive lineman. Um, and I like the move. Ziggy Ansa is a veteran guy. He's been with the Lions for the majority of his career, and then he went to Seattle. Was it last year? I think he went to the Seattle or maybe a couple seasons ago. Um, but, I mean, yeah, Ziggy Ansa is a great player. He is. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we have all these injuries. we got to bring in more people, and I think Ziggy Ansah is going to be a perfect fit. And um, I think our defensive line with Ziggy Ansah is not going to be as bad as a lot of people are thinking it's going to be. I mean, we still have D Ford. We still have Eric Armstead, DJ Jones, Javon Kinlaw. We still have a really, really, really good defensive line. It's now just about the defense rallying together and kind of playing great with each other uh, with all these injuries we have. But once Sherman is back and once, you know, our team is healthy, um, we'll really then see, you know, how the defense is without Nick Bosa. But, I mean, Ziggy Ansi is a great player. He can cause disruption in the passing game. And um, I'm, glad we, I'm glad we're finalizing the deal. So the 49ers this morning actually had flew Ziggy Ansi out to West Virginia to talk to him about a potential deal. Now they must have thought that they were 100% getting a deal done since they, you know, bought his plane ticket and, and flew him out and things like that. But I'm I'm curious to see what the numbers are of this deal. Um, I'm curious to see how much you know we're paying Ziggy Ansa for for the year. But at the end of the day, we needed somebody to come in in the midst of the Bosa injury. And um, at the end of the day, I like Ziggy Ansa. I think it's a pretty good signing. And um, hopefully, you know, he can fill Nick Bosa's shoes pretty well, which I think he can. Um, but, I mean, with that being said, I just want to come on here and give you guys a quick update. So Ziggy Ons is going to the 49ers on a one-year deal. It's The contract is being finalized as we speak. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the move in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.